Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where today we are going to go and get a really good commission hopefully because I really need it after missing all those events over the weekend. We were busy but I do need to make sure. Uh, what have you got of mine please? Acquire. Lots of stuff. Apparently I was being a bit silly last episode with the uh, finding the fibre stuff. Luckily that was the end of a batch. Apparently all those uh, little trees that I've been just running straight past and not picking up. Oh, where am I going? Giving Higgins a head start, how could I? Right, all those little bushes that I've been like walking straight past, they all had fibre in them, so I'm not going to struggle too much for it. I think I was kind of thinking back to like Alpha 1 or 2 when you could get fibre from barely anything. And I really struggled. Emperor Blue Mackerel, nope. Satchels, nope. Steel Beam, yeah, song, you look good. Oh no! No, no, no. Quick, quick, quick. I hope Higgins doesn't take that one. I've already got a commission. Did he take it? Oh, he didn't take the Steel Beams, he took the Emperor Mackerel. So if Higgins is off for a day of fishing. And we are off for a day. That was lucky. I was very lucky. It was very silly of me not to check that I had a commission already there. Before I ran up to the board, because that might have lost me a really nice commission. So I don't really know what we have to do for steel beams. I know I've made them before. So let's have a little look. It's a good commission though. I mean, there was like 4,000 gold or something. Worth it. Worth it. But I need money at the moment for my house upgrade. I've upgraded all the fences now, so the next thing will be the house. It's not under there, I doubt it will be though. I'm kind of thinking it might be an assembly table item then. Let's have a quick look and see if it is. So, you... Steel... Steel beam, yes. We need seven ironwood plank, four steel frame, and six bronze pipes. That's not actually too difficult for the price they're giving me. How many do I need? I only need to make one as well. Are you alright then? That's not too bad. So let's go and find the ironwood planks first. So I need seven of them. Let's see if I've got any. I've got bronze pipes being made, and I probably have some in a chest or something anyway. I have a text. Sorry, there's a delay getting your bank statement or something. Ah, I don't care. They can send me that in a minute. No one cares about bank statements, right? Not when they're playing awesome games. Right, I've already got the bronze pipes there. I kind of thought I would do when I saw that they weren't in the chest. Inventory needs sorting out again, she lab. She loves voice needs sorting out again. I do you know what? I actually started started this recording, had a massive froggy throat problem, sat there, drank loads of water, did loads of vocal exercises, and I've still got a little bit of one just hanging on there. So this is what happens when the first thing you do when you get up in the morning is to record, but I didn't have any editing to do or anything else, so may as well. Maybe need to plan my day a bit better. Maybe need to do some exercise when I get up or something. Maybe that would help, actually. Maybe that would help. It would help my overall fitness, anyway. So, uh, yes, steel beam. Ironwood plank. Ironwood plank. Bronze pipe. Four steel frames. Okay, let's go make four steel frames. What do we need for that? We need, generally, it's like carbon steel bars and stuff. And welding rods. So we need four welding rods and 20 carbon steel bars. Let's see if we've got the. We don't quite have 20 carbon steel bars at the moment. So I need to quickly make another three. Do we have iron ore for that? We do. Do we have any charcoal for that? 
No, might have some in the wood chest. Let's have a look. Because this will take longer. No, we don't. Oh no. Iron bars being made there. So we're gonna have to make some charcoal. Three pieces of charcoal will take. Right, okay, we, don't, we can't have that. Right, so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna make one piece of charcoal on each furnace. So I only need three. It's ridiculous. So that'll take half an hour. In the meantime, let's have a look at what we need for welding rods, in case I can't make them. We need copper and tin for welding rods, okay. I've actually got more tin nowadays, which is pretty good. So let's go and make those. And how many welding rods did we need, guys? We needed three. No, we didn't. We needed four. So that'll be in two and a half hours. It's probably about two and a half hours I'll be able to do the whole thing then. See, there's a bit of a debate at the moment about the, the dream lamps and things like that that I've got. Some people think it's a bug that I have them to start with. And some people think that it is a bug that other people don't have them at the moment. I'm not sure, so I'm just going to be thankful that I have them. They're under furniture, aren't they? Yeah, I'm just going to be thankful that I have them at the moment. Um, I'm going to go by the idea that it's a bug that other people don't have them. And that they are kind of meant to be in the game. They might be possibly meant to be in there at a later version. I'm not really sure. I'm very glad to have these crystal statues because they are going to be very good for my defence and I need to work on that pretty soon. I need to go mining more small clocks, don't I? But since they changed the carpets, my defence is really low. I managed to sort a little bit out of it one. Sort it out a little bit with the, the robots. Okay, so why don't we, while we're waiting for... Come on, horse. While we're waiting for everything to be... Or is the charcoal done? It's probably done by now, by the time I did all that talking. No, it's not. Okay, while we're waiting then, why don't we do something we've been meaning to do for a very long time and go and get those three... Is it three? I think it's three. It's three upgrade kits. I think it's two for the previous one and I think it's three for this one. I'll soon know if I'm wrong. We get those upgrade kits and hopefully that will be enough to upgrade my axe. I had someone say they didn't like the, the marble fences, they like the wooden ones better because they fit in with the aesthetic and I, I kind of understand that but I still kind of feel like the marble looks really posh and nice and I like it <laughs> so it's going to be a bit tough that one I'm afraid, it's a bit of a difference of opinion there. Okay, so what else do I need to upgrade this axe? Uh, manganese steel but Is that it? Really? So, yeah, it was three upgrade kits. I thought it was. I've looked at it a few times before. I should have looked at it before I went then. So. Axe. Axe. Fisherman's axe. There we are. Finally got round to upgrading that. Done. Don't have to think about it again. And it looks a lot nicer. It matches my axe and everything like that. They'll put in... Do you know what? Now I've done that, they'll put in another upgrade. You just watch. Hello, Ak. What of my stuff have you stolen today, then? Come here. Oh, all my child... Oh, right. So that's why I thought it hadn't been done typical right so now we can get on and make on each one of these uh horse can you return please because you are kind of following me around bugging me a bit there we are 
one carbon steel bar hole on each furnace just so we can get these done. And then I will bulk make some charcoal as well because for some reason we don't have any charcoal left. Which is pretty bad when you need carbon steel bars all the time. So we'll make a nice big batch of 50 there. And let's act have those too. Let's act had loads of like charcoal. Doesn't look like it, I don't think. No, I think we're okay. It's weird how like my ingredient chest I'm sure was really full before. And then it got unfull again. It's a bit strange, I'm not sure. So I mean I think maybe some of the stuff that I picked up in the winter festival may went missing, I'm not sure. It's a bit weird either way, but never mind. I'll put my milk and my eggs and stuff away. Oh, those need to go in the cooked one. They were a present from Lee. And if I give them back to Lee, they're like his favourite thing, so that's amazing. And apricots and eggs. Lots of metals and gems and all sorts of stuff everywhere. Gonna take two and a half hours to do that. Oh my goodness. What a nightmare. So two and a half hours. Yeah, two and a half hours I can put away stuff for. And then when I get a day where I don't have something to make on the assembly table, we'll definitely 100% be working on... Um... Oh, do I already have welding rods? Oh, well, you can never have enough welding rods, especially if you're getting commissions like that coming in now. Aluminium uh, plates there. I need to not forget I've got them. Okay, I'm gonna go to the wood chest as well because I seem to have lots and lots of wood that's outstanding that's just sitting in my inventory. Wood and tree sap and things like that. Keep those welding rods there because I kind of need them. Uh, and also, loads of nitre now. I'm never going to run out of that ever again in my life. I might get to the point where I can just sell it. Same with gems, actually. I'm going to probably be at the point where I can just sell a lot of gems off. I'll probably just sell them when I have more than 100 or something. I'll just sell 100 off. Actually, with gems, not so. With, uh, sorry, crystals is what I mean. Maybe not so much because we can make those dream lamps out of them. No, it's not. It's the crystal hourglasses. And they're literally made of crystal and sand. So I have so many hundreds of sand all the time. I've kept about a thousand back. I did sell a big bunk a big bunch of it because I had so much, but I'm always mine always mining, always getting sand, so it's cool. Okay. Goes in here. Data discs need to be kept. I actually have quite a lot of things for the fabric chest. Surprisingly. So for fabric and farming, we need that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Rubber fruit bones. Bat wings, snake hides. I think birds' nests go in there as well. Caterpillars. Bamboo papaya, not. Feces, yes. I've got a lot of healing stuff that's just sat here. Um, I've got a, I've got a chest full of healing items, like, up here. But I'm kind of thinking at the moment that I want to possibly move that down. Because we don't have many things up here. It's good for things that need to be kept out of the way, I suppose. There, most of the things that I have left now are things that I like to give people as presents and stuff like that. There's a few things that need to go in the stone and the ingredients chests. Let's have a look and see how our carbon steel is doing. Another hour yet, okay. 
Also, how many... Right, let's have a look at my handbook. I'm going to kind of have a look at uh, the vehicle pit stop commission. So it's the charge station and the water tower. Have a little look. Charge station. So I need five hard aluminium. And advanced... Oh, I can't make that until I've got the advanced engine anyway. So that is just something I don't even need to, to worry about. We could try and make the water tower though. I think I'll try and do that first. So the water tower is five large pipes, five copper plates, six hard aluminium, and four aluminium plates. That's not too bad. So some people are saying that you sometimes can find, uh, well some said couldn't, some said could, but I'm more inclined to go with people who say that you can, because they have actually found it, whereas people that couldn't could just be unlucky. I'm saying that you can't, you can or can't dig up the advanced engine. Some people are saying you really just need to go and, and uh, farm it in the new ruins. But I need to do that boss battle first, and to do that, I really think I need to, um, I need to play on his tells and things like that. There's people saying that I need to get my critical up and things like that. I think that's actually a good idea because if I could do some bigger hits on him, it might help. Main thing is though, I think it's just going to be a, a long slog to be honest, but I think getting my defense up by another few points, make a few more wall lamps and just stick them everywhere. I mean, I try to keep my place nice. I have, I've seen someone put a picture, it was kind of bad, on, uh, on Twitter, where they had literally filled their entire house with like sofas and washing machines and just hadn't tried to lay it out like a house at all. It just looked like... I don't know what it looked like, but it was it was pretty bad. Um, so I'm kind of feeling like my place isn't so bad, you know? It's got a nice little piano and a robot guy and, and a table and it's quite varied in what it's got around the place and it... I don't like that table and chair though. I'm eventually going to take them away. I like the tea tables and occasional tables around the place. I would love to have a nice dining room table, but I don't feel that that's going to be have a place in my house until um, the chairs can tuck into the tables. I know that's a really silly thing to be annoyed about, but... Who just has? Like, if you were in your house and you had a dining room table, right? Would you just sit there... With the tape with the chairs all just sticking out so people can trip over them? No, you wouldn't. No, you would not. So I, I, I can't do tables and chairs yet. Uh, Ak, have you taken? Yeah. Where's that robot gone? He's gonna start wandering off all the time with my stuff. I'm gonna start like having to turn off his gathering, which is really annoying because he's he's good. He does things like collects my trees and stuff like that. It's just the stuff on the machines. No. Because now that's my commission stuff that he's gone away with. I don't know where he is. We need an act tracker. Ah, here we are. He does come back fairly often. Thanks, Ack. You've delayed me now to the point where I probably won't be able to hand this in on time, but don't worry, dude. It's cool, you know. What? I need... Oh, 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 I've put some away, haven't I? That'll be what I've done. Okay, this is now not Axe's fault anymore, it's now mine. There we are, four steel frames. Doesn't matter too much if I can't hand it in until the morning, but, you know, it's taken me a little while to do this, just one commission. It's taken me most of the day. Then it's going to be good money, so I'll just have to try and do something a bit interesting tomorrow. Come on, horse, we can make it by 8 o'clock, right? I mean, you can't, uh, you can't turn your nose up at 4,000 gold in a day without having to actually use very much of your own stuff at all. Hurrah! And 400 rep points as well. Four and a half thousand gold, actually. Wow, that's a really nice commission. Sweet. 
So we're almost back to the point where we're like a thousand ahead of Higgins again. So that's really, really cool. I've been so busy thinking about how far ahead of Higgins we are. I haven't even checked lately on how far through our rank we are. Oh, look. Character, isn't it? Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. <laughs> look at this. Oh. Oh, wow. I think double S is going to be like the... It's probably the top level, though. Um... So probably most of my time now will be spent trying to get to double S. Oh, we do have a point to spend though. See, I don't really find particularly either of these amazing. And I suppose selling for selling for more for my items i don't tend to spar a lot i tend to do everything by giving presents because quite frankly they're so much more effective than everything else if i was really trying to particularly get someone up really fast i would use my time to do sparring but it, it takes stamina it takes time so i really don't usually bother but i need to spend these so i can get happy camper which is what I'll be getting on that one, definitely. I'm not worried about confession success rate. I'll just carry on confessing until it works, you know? Um, big player. Pickpocket. I, I, the, the goals I get from spars are so tiny that that's really not something I'm worried about. But social maniac is the one I'm really, really wanting, and I'm not going to get that for a lot more levels now. And the reason I want that is to, to get all the people that are at, so, at associate level up in uh, in points. So what I might what I might do, I might even go back to a defensive posture as well. But then I would definitely need to make more stamina um, food. So I don't know. I'd have to be really careful with my stamina when I was going into the, the mines and stuff, but I would be like basically four times as tanky. Which might be very useful against these much harder bosses. So I may change that round. The one I've got at the moment is amazing for farming. Okay, so we have done this now. We have done that. So I'm going to put up a water tower on the assembly station, ready to do tomorrow. I have aluminium plates. I have them by the, the ton. I really have a lot. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to have to go... I think we might have to go looking for this advanced engine. You know that. I kind of think that that's going to be important. Uh, I need wood to go back in the wood chest. I don't know why I always end up with like, so much wood. It's from that chest, isn't it, by the door? That's why. A bit of honey and the bamboo papaya. I'll stick the flowers in there. Why not? I've got room. Cooked food. Let's put these cookies in. I do have lots of dried apple slices now, actually, which is pretty cool. I could do with getting some more apple slices on, actually. Why don't we do that? Why don't we go kick apples? Something I only have to do once in a while, you know? I've certainly not found at the moment that I need to upgrade that wood chest at all. If I find that I've done everything and I've still got goals left over, I might I might do it then. Mm, I know the other thing that I needed to do, to do today. Apparently, you can like tag people. So this is month four. What are we in at the moment? What's our day today? 
So tell me. No. Right, we're on Tuesday, the 23rd day of spring. Okay. So spring. So Paulie's birthday is the 25th. So apparently I can tag this or something. If I right click. Oh, I see. Add a note. Right, 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 right. So, oh, we're on the twenty third of. Oh, it is spring. Okay, 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 okay. So, Paulie's birthday is in the winter. Right, 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 right. So we've missed... No, we did catch Mayor Gale's birthday, actually. I gave him a tea table, so that was fine. So the next person will be Carol on the 7th. So I can put a note on. Carol. No. No. I'm going to type in it. All right. Event reminder. Okay, so that's the time of day it reminds me. So I know I want it to remind me at like eight in the morning. So it reminds me just after I've taken my commission, in theory. But yeah, you're supposed to be able to type in it, I think. I've got an event reminder there on her birthday. And then when we've done that, we can add one in for, like, Albert's birthday. But yeah, uh, there doesn't seem to be a way to type in it for me. But I, I'm hoping it'll still give me a reminder anyway. It'll remind me that there is an event. Oh, here we go. All right, so that would be um, Carol birthday jewelry box. This one I want to remind me eight o'clock as well. This one Albert birthday. So you can start like putting people's birthdays in, so you don't miss them, which is amazing. That's a bit weird. They're not working so great, are they, at the moment? But they do have notes on them, so hopefully something pops up on their birthdays. But I'll try and remember m myself anyway, but that will just be a, a backup. It's a bit, it is a bit strange, the way it's working. Right, let's go kick some apples. Quite a lot of apples off that tree. Five apples off one tree. That's decent. And an aroma apple. Yay! Let's go kick this one. If I still have time, I could kick some cocoons off trees as well. But yeah, not the most uh, thrilling episode, is it? Well, sometimes you've got to do episodes where you just prepare things, you know? So I'll get some more dried apples, and then you guys are saying something about some... Um, I'll have a look at it tomorrow. It'll be good to have dried apples just in case I run out of these other things, but apparently you can make some kind of like salad cream, and then Ak will make me like a salad. And I'm quite pleased with that. I think that would be good. But 
But definitely at the moment it seems like I'm being kind of held back a little bit by the um, the stuff in South Block. Finding the advanced engine is going to be a really big thing for me soon. Ten apples off one tree. I haven't even given everything. Wow. I think I kicked that one already. What about these two up here? Yeah, this is nice. I'll be able to put loads, probably another 12 dried apples uh, slices on. And, you know, I've got the drying racks in a place that I kind of like them at the moment as well. I'm kicking. No apples are coming off. It's not saying that it's giving me everything that it can for the day, though, so... I'm just having bad luck, maybe. Got two aroma apples, which is always nice. Oh, three now. Because I can give them to QQ, and QQ will be very happy. Have I kicked this one yet? Yes, apparently. There's also one up here and one up there as well. There's quite a lot of apple trees around here, which is really nice. There's some in the little woodland by uh, Papa Bear's house, too. Yeah, I think someone in the comments was asking if that was Papa Bear's house, like, um, in the woods there, where we were doing things with Alice, and yeah, it is. That's his little house, his little hut in the middle of the woods. So cute. I mean, I, I do worry about Papa Bear. You know, he's always wearing his dressing gown. I think he should get dressed sometimes. Maybe put on a nice little suit and a smoking jacket or something. If he's going to be a bear that wears clothes, you know, he could he could make an effort sometimes. Maybe we'll find out more of his story. Okay, this is lots of apple apple tree kicking, but it's going to be worth it when we have all those dried apple slices and I'm there in the mines and I can have more stamina and find more relics and stuff. Right, where even are we right now? I could jump the fence on the horse. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Love it. Oh, night, guys! <laughs> okay, so job for the morning then is uh, go find another commission. And also uh, put some apples on the drying racks. So we'll do the commission first because we always do and it's always a good thing. Whee! I need to make uh, some more carbon steel bars as well. Oh, I made it over here quite quickly. If I'd have stopped to do anything though, it, it would have taken me like too long to do whatever it was and I would have been late to the commission. So, And I've got a good chance of getting first pick today because I actually handed in that steel beam quest quite quickly. How much money do I have? 39,000. So we are 10,000 away from getting back to where we need to be for the house upgrade. I think a lot of the aluminium bars that I was, uh, the aluminium plates I was making, I'm now making one, f uh, using some of them for the water towers. I might need to make a few more. Gunpowder. Satchels. Fiber cloth. Basic skivers. Gunpowder will be the best out of those. And it's for Arlo, which is always good. Because we need some Arlo points. I'll give Arlo like a, a proper nice iron sword on his birthday, but other than that, I won't bother. He went to Anton's birthday. So that will be the day to give him a... Uh, that will definitely be the day... Calendar, don't I? Oh, I won't know when his birthday is because I don't have enough points with him. I was giving him roses, but apparently people say give him crystals as well. Maybe keep a stack of crystals on me or something. I'm not sure. I'm not too worried about Anton. But I, I will make more of an effort than, like, say, the Hulu brothers or something. Because they really don't give me an awful lot back. And they all look the same. And they don't really seem to have much of a story to them. 
But there is someone in the desert that we need to go and see at some point. I might do that today, actually. Alright, so what more do I need for this? Is it something I can't get? Large pipe, copper plate, hard aluminium. Okay. Do we have hard aluminium? I do need more stuff to make aluminium with for my house upgrade as well. So we do need to go to those mines today. I'm, I'm forming a plan here. I've got the copper plates though. And I am kind of slightly aware in the back of my mind that a lot of my a lot of my uh, machines are not working at the moment. This is why I've got no carbon steel bars. I made them all into steel plates. Which is good, because you need them all the time, but still. Pick up some of this charcoal. I can make a few more carbon steel bars. Which I am solo on at the moment. I'll pop over here and... Uh... Oh, hard aluminium is being made. Okay. Make some dried apple slices. So, if I make... Now I've got about 30 apples, we'll be able to make about 15, so if we make about 4 on each. This is going to take 3 days to make them. I don't mind, I just leave them there and let them do their thing I suppose. That wasn't a bad guess was it? So I call no doubt gather those, hand them to me each day. My workshop's starting to look very um a much less cluttered place actually nowadays. Much less cluttered. It's, it's sort of looking a little bit sparse, honestly, because I'm starting to get to the point where I've got things that take away from the amount of um Furnaces and things I need, stuff like that. I'm not, I'm kind of at a point where I'm like, do I need to make loads of bars? Because if I've, as long as I've got a few, I kind of almost need to hang on to the ores in case I, I need to make something in the compound cutters and things like that. So it's a little bit like, hmm, I don't know. So we do have plenty of hard aluminium actually, so that's not too bad. So the, the hardest things to make are done. La five large pipes now. Now that's going to possibly mean I need to get a bit of tree sap together. I'm just going to double check the recipe though. Too many recipes for me to remember all of them, unless I do them very, very often. So four bronze pipes, valves and resin. I'm going to need ten resin. Let's see how many we have. We've got 75 trees up. That should be enough to make 10 resin out of. We need some valves. Which we generally have quite a few of. So valves, resin and something else that I've forgotten already. Lovely to have such a great memory, isn't it? Oh, it's bronze pipes. Right, okay. I might even have those in my inventory. But I probably don't because I put everything away. All this game is, is is taking stuff out of boxes and putting them away. That is like the, the entire point of this game. That's it. That's all we do. My horse is just following me around. Oh yeah, we need to make gunpowder as well, don't we? But first I'll make these. It's fine. Got plenty of time in the day to make gunpowder. Oh, I didn't make the resin yet. Oops. Sure, we'll turn all the tree sap into resin. Because I never really... Well, I sometimes need tree sap, but it's very rare. And if I do, I've got my nice new axe that I can cut down trees. I did upgrade my axe, right? I sometimes worry... 
Because I did have to restart because of my throat earlier, so... Okay, five large pipes. Water tower is done. Without me having to have that commission for it. Because I've made several water towers, but this is the first one I've made for the actual commission down in South Block. So we're going to pop down there with this. Um, and then we're going to go into the mines, get some more aluminium, and see if we can't find ourselves an industrial engine. Sorry, an advanced engine. We might not be able to. I don't know why I'm riding my horse down here. Let's just take the DD stop over quickly. Height of laziness, I know. Just fancied a little ride down to the Amber Island, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so first stop is South Block, and is this the one for the charging station? This is the water tower, right, so we can install that now. Hurrah! The charging station is going to take a little bit more work, so we are going to need more aluminium, as I say. So if we can find an advanced engine in here, great. If not, then apparently we need to be looking in the... Uh, Ha new hazardous ruins but like I say I struggled a little bit with the boss there so I need to sort of up my game a little bit make a whole load of like healing items and things like that and just be really prepared and give it as many goes as it takes Um, no, I think I'm alright sticking with the area I've got. I to, yes, that's nice. I've already paid the fee this week. I'll just have a look around with the relic scanner as to exactly what we're looking for here. That looks interesting. I don't even know what it is, but it looks interesting, so I will be going to find it. Nothing else is particularly looking. That looks like an advanced power stone. Yeah, you know the part of the axe um, little thing where you can control what he does? Where it says, refills your machines. Well, he doesn't actually refill the generators. He just refills my machines full of power stones. So that is why I had a whole load of power stones just sitting in my machines being used up, not alerting me to the fact, oh, fan piece, very nice, not alerting me to the fact that all of the generators had run out, etc, etc, which wasn't too great. I think this blue bit here is aluminium, so we're going to give that a bit of a, a bit of a mine quickly, and I'm also going to then need some um, magnesium. And that's a slightly different colour, so I need to make sure I mine some of that as well. Before I come out of here. I get like a hundred old aluminium. That should be enough to keep me going for a little while. Because I'll, I'll want to be in here a little bit getting relics as well anyway. I think this is the magnesium ore. So we get a good little bit of that. We don't need as much of that as we do the aluminium. Because uh, it doesn't seem to ask for it as much. It seems to be like wanting five, five to one or something like that. But we do need it, so... Okay, so now I'm gonna be a bit less worried about everything like that. I'm gonna start looking for things. I don't know what that is. It looks interesting, though. Nothing that looks like an engine. That looks like it could almost be another sofa, actually. It's also 8 metres down into aluminium ore, which is pretty nice. Plane model. Oh, nice. Okay. There's a lot of interesting looking things around here. We're into an iron vein. I actually quite like that there are iron veins in here as well. Fan model piece three. Oh, that's two pieces of the fan model. Very nice. Very nice indeed.
Oh, I can't believe I forgot to go and see somebody on the way. I don't know if I'll be able to see them now. I'll have to do that another day. Oh, well, never mind. I think the theme of today's episode will have to be that we completed the water tower in, um, in South Block. Because we've just been doing little... It's one of these episodes where there's been little bits and pieces. I try really hard to make sure that everything has a bit of a theme to it so I can have a nice thumbnail and call the episode something. But sometimes you just really don't have that and you just have to be as creative as you can. I hate thumbnails where it's just in the mine as well. That's kind of roundish looking. That has engine potential, so I'm going to go in and mine towards it. little bit more stamina just to... I think this will be a relic though. I think I've actually changed what I was mining towards as well. AI model. Grief. All I'm finding is loads of relics with no partners. Oh come on, I've got to get that lion head haven't I? So let's just... we'll have just one more apple slice. There's so much stuff in here. That's sometimes the problem is that there's so much stuff it makes the things that you are trying to find more rare. You get my meaning? Well, let's uh, pop out to the entrance. I'll see if I can pop in on the motel on my way back but it is getting very late and I don't know whether the motel will be still open at this time of night. It's more I have to pop in there on the way. So do we have all seven Hulus now? I think we might be missing one still. So apparently I'm supposed to be able We'll go inside the motel. However, I've not actually even been able to sort of... It might be that I've been going at the wrong time, so... I've not been able to get in there yet, so we'll try another time. That's that's not a problem. Go and make my gunpowder commission. Also, how much money do I have right now? Still 39,000. Okay. It's fine by me. Oh, my horse is so tired. Such a tired wee horse. Axe got all my stuff again, so I'm gonna put on now. I've got a little bit of aluminium. Um, I'm going to put on then I think I need at least four more aluminium plates here, don't I? So, oh, it's the other side. Let's be craft. I need manganese or right we didn't get that while we were mining but I do usually have a little stack of it in here anyway I'm using it a lot more nowadays though okay, I can make 22 of them we'll we'll start with why don't we start with 10 Making loads of hard aluminium at the moment. That's going to take days as well. So what I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to probably end the episode in a minute anyway. And then next time we're going oh, we're going to do the gunpowder. That's what we're going to do before bedtime. 
Even if I've got to hand it in in the morning. I used all my charcoal though. No, I've got some. That's good. Who is it? Six gunpowder. So much easier when you just have the stuff there. I could make 45 apparently. I don't think I want to make 45. I could sell gunpowder again. I'm slightly worried about who I'm sell selling it to though. Um, I'm never going to be able to... Ha uh, well, I might be able to hand it in. I was going to Arlo. I might catch him. He stays up late talking to Nora. Yeah, nice one, she up. Knowing the movements of people is very useful. It's taken me a while to work out a few of them, but this one, this is one I know. Relationship plus 29, fantastic. So, actually these gunpowder commissions are the, the main way I'm making friends with this, the uh, Civil Corps at the moment. On top of the fact that well, with Remington, obviously, because I'm giving him loads of lemon juice as well, that's really helping. But with people like Sam, I'm already Sam's friend, just from giving her a few roses and stuff like that, so... I've actually got as much as I can with Sam without being her lover. Um, same for Remington. Arlo we still need to be friends with, so... We get an extra 10 attack points and an extra 20% critical chance. By being better friends with Arlo. When's your birthday again? <laughs> yeah, I'll just I will still continue to take commissions for for people, but there's gonna be some people I'm gonna be focusing on more than others, and I think Arlo might need to be one of them. Unfortunately, the only thing he really likes are like really expensive swords, which sucks. Because bronze swords are almost as expensive as everything else, as all the other swords to make. Because iron swords don't need upgrade kits. I don't know why they don't. I don't know if that's something that shouldn't be. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it's getting very, very late at night. And I think Sheila has done pretty much everything she wants to do for the day at the moment. She's also run out of stamina. Oh, training the horse. We'll give the horse another train quickly. I'm I'm really bad at this, but like I say, I'm in no hurry. I'll just keep going. Every time I remember, I'll add a little extra. I'll just train train dash a lot as well. That's really low at the moment on my horse. Training dash for 10 hours. Cool. Like I say, I make enough money in this game that I'm not too worried about like spending 500 gold on a horse each week. It's fine. But anyway, I think it's time for me to go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a thumbs up below. And if you'd like to see more of my time at Porsche, then please do subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.